lasers have gotten sort of a bad rap um, because there were burns, there were some other issues with um, laser resurfacing. But I have to say that it is one of the most wonderful things that can be done for skin that has been damaged, very, very deep wrinkles, very severe uh, sun damage. There are things that can be done that are much less invasive, um, but when it gets down to skin that has been badly damaged, you really want to resurface the skin. So what you're trying to do is take off the top layers of the skin, obviously not all of the skin, but the top layers to get down to the part where you have the best blood supply and the new growth of skin is going to grow back out and as it heals, it contracts and contracts away some of those wrinkles and makes a smoother, um, younger, brighter looking skin. Now when it comes to laser resurfacing, there are all sorts of different ways it can be done. You might have heard of profractional or fractionated laser, you might have heard of erbium, CO2, all sorts of different things. And honestly, there are so many different lasers that do so many different things, you have to be very specific about what laser you're looking at. There are lasers to treat redness of the skin, lasers to, to treat brown pigmentation, lasers to help with wrinkles, and lasers to help tighten the skin. When I do a resurfacing, for example, that's to help take away some of the lines and to tighten the skin a little bit. When I do an IPL or a BBL, that stands for Intense Pulse Light, then that's to take away different um, pigments like red or brown. And then there are different depths to which you can go. Let's say a person only has a day of downtime, we can do a real light uh, laser resurfacing that brightens the skin and makes it prettier. Let's say they have three days downtime. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit deeper so I can get a little bit more therapeutic. Let's say they have a week or 10 days off and they want the most that I can do in terms of resurfacing, then I'm gonna go pretty doggone deep and they're going to have to heal from that for a while. They'll have some pinkness, they'll have some post-op um, wound care and those sorts of things. So there are different laser procedures depending upon what the person's needs are. And it's important to differentiate that because you don't want a little mild laser procedure um, and be healed in a day when that wasn't really what your um, goal was. And it's important to explore those things with your doctor.